Here are the differences when performing CPR for an infant or somebody under the age of one. We still want to check responsiveness. Hey, are you okay? Hey, are you okay? We then want to tell somebody to call 911 and get an AD. Call 911, get an AD. When we perform our vital check, we will still be using a look, listen, feel technique. We'll be looking at the chest for rise and fall. I'll be listening to their mouth for a breath, but I will be feeling for a pulse, still using my index and middle finger, but inside the bicep. I still want to be doing all three of these things for about five to 10 seconds. The three avenues that you could potentially see, see still are in play. Um, when we start actually performing the CPR process, I do still want to draw two imaginary lines, one across the nipple line, one down the center of the body. But instead of using two hands for CPR, I'm gonna be using two fingers for CPR. I still wanna perform 30 compressions, but at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute still, but at a depth of one and a half inches instead of two. When I transfer over to give this infant breaths, rescue breaths, I still wanna do a head tilt chin lift, but I'm gonna be putting my mouth over the mouth and nose of the infant to perform my two breaths. I still wanna perform five cycles of CPR. One cycle consists of 30 compressions and two breaths, followed by rechecking the vitals.